The next portion of our security picture are the securables. Now, what exactly is a securable? Well, a securable is real simple. It's any object that can be accessed. If someone's going to need to access something to get information from it, to write information to it, or anything like that, then that is a securable object. It's something that needs to be secured. Now, securables have been nested in scopes, and this is really cool. You're going to like this. And these scopes are, notice, the server level, the database level, and the schema level. And we'll get to schema a little later in a little bit more detail. You're going to like it. Let's take a look at some of the server securables. Or, and actually, we're at the server scope. And I like to call them securables because it makes it a little bit more consistent and it makes a little more sense. All the logins to that SQL server are securable, right? Because if you can log in, I want to be able to set some security on you and make sure who you are and where you're going. This is real interesting. We won't get into this, but think about this. If you know what HTTP is, HTTP endpoints are securable, which means we can expose part of our database via HTTP or over the Internet, and we can make that endpoint securable. Certificates on our server are securable. Events or event notifications on our server are securable. The databases obviously need to be securable because we want to limit which one of the logins to the SQL Server can go to any particular database. Now, inside each database, the things that are securable, obviously, are users, the roles in those databases, the application roles in those databases. Now, here's where we start to jump out into the .NET framework. Assemblies, individual assemblies that run in context of databases are securable. DDL events, and we'll talk about those later. Schemas. And again, we'll talk about schemas later, but schemas are securable. Now, what this is really cool is we can build objects and put them in the namespaces of schemas and then change permissions to that schema and automatically change permissions to all those objects. That's really cool stuff. Services and message types. So what we end up with here is we basically exploded our security into multiple levels, and we can easily see, conceptualize, and deal with them each at those individual levels. So again, securable is anything that people or logins or any kind of entity is going to touch and try to use. We want to be able to secure that to make sure that we can protect it.